Andy Mundo, and this is Oktoberfest. Before going into the actual grounds, on the walk from the train station, we noticed that the parade was going on. Now this was Sunday, the first Sunday of Oktoberfest, so only day two. We tried to walk through the tents because we didn't have a reservation, so we went in the Polliner tent and you can see just how busy it is, but you can do a lap around the, the, the tent itself. So kind of if you just wanna see what it has to offer, the different food that's available, all the waiters and waitresses carrying tons of beer. So we didn't know which day we were going. It was kind of a spur of the moment thing. So we didn't make any reservation and found out that to have a reservation, you need probably minimum six or eight or sometimes 10 people. And with just me and Jaren, we couldn't do that. Oh, look at all that. There's plenty of food stalls outside too. The brats, the nuts, all the different foods and fixins. So if you don't get a seat inside one of the big tents, never fear, you'll still get to eat. definitely wanted to check out the Hofbrau tent too, but there were no open tables. So even though most of them require a reservation, if you find an open table that is not reserved, then you can sit down. Would you believe it? After four years of living here, this is our first time at Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest, which was originally in October, switch to September to help accommodate better weather. As you can see, it doesn't always work out that way. But by far the best tent that we went in was this one. I had no idea what it was, but it was just a big party. It turns out that it is a tent that gay people usually frequent, and especially on this Sunday, the first Sunday, is known as Gay Sunday. typical German restaurant prices. The one liter of beer was $13.50 when normally that's about six, five or six euro. And then for our food, it was about 18 euro a piece for a very small portion. So be prepared to pay a lot when you eat and drink at Oktoberfest. <laughs>
like beer, but when in Rome, and I only drank half of it because it was a full liter after all. So the key is to find tents that have a second floor, like the one we were just in, and then this one, the Oxenbrotteri tent. I'm pretty sure is what it was called. It has a second floor as well because that's usually where there you'll find empty tables. So we were lucky at both places and found an empty table and still got a view of the whole tent. This tent was a little more intense, so unfortunately I couldn't help Jeremy finish it, but I had so much fun just in the few hours we were there that I will definitely be going back to Oktoberfest in the future.